This is the day that the Lord has made. Come on, let's rejoice and be glad in it. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. You know what time it is? It's time for the Sweet Hour of Prayer. Welcome, my brothers and sisters, to the Sweet Hour of Prayer, which is the online prayer meeting here at Unity Missionary Baptist Church in the beautiful city of Baytown, Texas. Call a neighbor, call a friend, let them know that Unity Baytown is on the air everywhere. Uh, on this wonderful Wednesday or whatever day you're watching, we thank you for joining us on this wonderful day that the Lord has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for coming and joining us today. If you have a prayer request, we would love to pray with you and pray for you. We believe in the power of the partnership of prayer. The information is on the screen right now. We want to mix our faith with your faith. We want to join our faith with your faith. You may have a dire prayer need, a dire challenge, and you need the prayers of the righteous to come and talk on your behalf. So we ask brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, if you need, if you have a prayer request and you need prayer, I invite you to use the information that you see right there. Use that telephone number. Use that email address. Use that website information. Also use the social media information. Whichever your mode of contact, contact us today. Because we want to mix our faith with your faith and believe in, in the power of prayer. I've, we've seen here unity. God do miracles. We've seen God do signs and wonders. And so we want to set ourselves in agreement with your most urgent prayer needs. So please, man, please, sir, send us your most urgent prayer request. And what we do is we take that prayer request and we receive it. It's, it's given in confidentiality. There's, there's, a, there's a small cluster of group of people who are trusted and capable to take your, your request before the Lord. And so we don't take that lightly, nor do we take it for granted, but we treat your prayers in the strictest of confidentiality. So please, ma'am, please, sir, send us your prayer request to the information that you see on the screen. Once we get that prayer request, what we do is we take it before the Lord immediately. We take it before the Lord in prayer. And we believe by faith that what we pray for is getting ready to happen. So don't delay. Send your prayer request today. Or perhaps God has answered your prayer and God has made a way out of nowhere. And he has answered it and given you a praise report. Guess what? We want to hear that praise report. So if you have a praise report, use the same information. Tell us your story. Call and leave it on the answer machine or use the email or the social media platform. And let us know what God did for you. What was the miracle? What was the praise report? What was the answer? What did God do on your behalf? To make to as a consequence of us praying for you, that you'll be able to say, To God be the glory for the things He's done. We want to know about that. So, send us your praise reports, send us your prayer requests. And once we get that, what we're going to do is not only will we pray for you for your prayer requests, but we'll praise God for answering your prayers. And if we supplicate it with you, we sure want to shout with you. So, Thank you for entrusting us to receive your prayer request. Thank you for entrusting us with your most urgent need and your praise report. So thank you again. We are blessed. We count it as a privilege and an honor to share with you on the Lord's Day. Amen. Well, again, come on in, beloveds. It's the sweet hour of prayer. We pray that you've had a blessed day. And if not, I declare that your day gets better as it goes along. Do you like what you're watching? Do you enjoy what you're saying today? Let us know. We'd love to hear from you here. You want to do three things for us. Number one, hit the like button. If you like it, like it. If you enjoy it, hit the like button. We want to know that you're enjoying it. Then number two, comment. Let us know how this is blessing you in the comment section. Let us know that this is being a blessing to you. Let us know that something is said or done to help you and encourage you and enrich you, inspire you. We need to hear from you. We'd love to hear from you. So, 
comment. You can either do it right there in the comment section or you can inbox us or DM us before you want. Then lastly, tag and share. Somebody you know needs fun. I can't think of anybody who does not need fun. So, beloved, please like, comment, tag, and share so that we can get this across, not just pay time, but across the length and breadth of the world. Jesus sent us into the world, and so the world is where we're going. And so we thank you for help being a catalyst, a, a, a funnel, a venue, where we can take this, take this gift that we have and use it, this medium that we have, and use it to spread it to out to the ends of the earth. Thank you so much. We appreciate what God is doing through you. You have to make it happen. All right. It's time for the sweet hour of prayer. Let's get to our prayer purpose today. Psalm 86. Psalm 86. And again, somebody is wondering, Bishop Williams, Pastor Williams, whichever you call him. Why do you read a scripture before you pray? Well, simple. God honors His word. The Bible says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word will last forever. If there's one thing that God's going to do, God's going to honor His word. And so we pray the word so that we can rehearse it back into God's ears. Because again, that's one thing he's going to honor. He's going to honor his word. All right. So Psalm 86, verse 11. And by preference or preference alone, I'm reading from the New International Version of the Holy Word. Psalm 86, verse 11, and this is what it says: Teach me your word, Lord, that I may rely on your faithfulness. Give me an undivided that I might fear your name. Amen. That's our prayer. Teach us our God. Teach us your way. We don't want to do it our way. But God, we want to do it your way. Because this world belongs to Him. The Bible says the earth is the Lord's. And the fullness that are The world that they that the world that are in. So, that being said, it's prayer time in the Lord's house. It's the sweet hour of prayer. Let's go to God and pray. Father, here we come before your throne. God, we thank you today for what our eyes have seen this day. It's the day that you made. God, we thank you for every magnificent feature in this world. We thank you, God, because we realize that everything we have belongs to you. Thank you for the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows. Thank you for the ends and the outs. Father, if it not been for you, we wouldn't be here right now. We've tried everything in this world. And nothing works but you. So Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to stay more focused. Help us to stay more disciplined. Help us to stay more closer to you. We won't know that how to do that until you teach us your way. Help us to learn what it means to be closer to you. Help us to understand your will. Because we think we know it, but God, we want you to be clear when it comes to your will. God, speak to us today. In the name of Jesus, show us in your written word what your will is. Show us, God, through the preached word what your will is. Show us through signs and wonders and even life application what your will is for us. God, our desire is to mix our will and to immerse it in your will. God, we don't just want to know the, the small piece, but we want to know how to rest in you, how to trust in you, how to believe in you, how to have peace in you. Teach us, oh God. Show us your ways. God, 
class is forever in session with us. And thank you for being the master teacher. But also thank you, God, for this open book, this open textbook. Fed in your word, which is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Thank you, God, because you've given us the opportunity to be taught. You have not this, this, you have not chosen to be hidden from us, but you have disclosed yourself. You have divulged your presence to us today. And God, we don't take that lightly, nor do we take that for granted. But we are thankful for your presence. But not only your presence, but we are thankful for your purpose. So God, show us what to do. Show us how to do it. In the name of Jesus. I'm praying right now for that person who's listening, who is confused about life. They're confused about the things of this world. And it looks like they're not going anywhere. Show them, God, number one, why you brought them to where you brought them. But then, God, number two, show them why they are where they are. And then, thirdly, God, show them where they're going. And, Father, if you choose not to disclose it in that fashion, give us the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. God, we thank you today. We trust you because we know that if we acknowledge our sin, if we acknowledge you in all of our ways, you will direct our path. So God, teach us to say like Jesus in the God of Gethsemane, not our will, but let your will be done. Show us, God, the ups, the downs, the ins, the outs, the rights, the wrongs. Show us what it means to have a closer walk with you. Guide us today. Give us strength. Give us knowledge. Give us wisdom. Teach us understanding. And God, when you do so, God, we'll walk in your path. We'll walk in your way. Thank you, God, for the opportunity to learn from you. You told us in Matthew chapter 11, take my yoke and learn. So God, we want to learn more about you. And it is so. And it cannot be otherwise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Oh, beloved, God wants to teach you something. God wants to show you something. So say like David, teach me your way. Don't teach me how to get a car, I can get that. Don't teach me how to get money, I can get that. Don't teach me how to get a person, I can do that. You've already given us that ability. You've even given us, the Bible says, the power to obtain the wealth. But now God, teach me the ways. Hallelujah. I want to learn the ways of God. I want to know what he really is from God. Don't you? I hope that you were blessed by today's words. Uh, uh, sweet hour of prayer. We hope that something was said and done to bless you and to encourage you and push you to ask God to teach you His way. Well, we're on time. I look forward to seeing you back this evening at 7 p.m. for Wednesday with God Bible study. We talk to God. Now tonight we're going to ask God to talk to us. So, I invite you to meet us in this virtual space at 7 p.m., whether it be on YouTube or on Facebook, we invite you to come back and bring somebody with you. Bring your Bible, bring your notepad, bring a pen so that you can take notes and learn what it is the Lord wants you to learn. Again, if this has been a blessing to you, you do things for us. Like, comment, have and share. And let somebody be blessed the same way you've been blessed. All right, got to go. Until we get back together with you, may the rest of your day be the best of your day. Till we see you again tonight, the blessing of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord.